Good morning, Oregon First Tech Challenge teams. I'm David Perry, the Executive Director of the Oregon Robotics Tournament Outreach Program. Welcome to Ultimate Goal, presented by Qualcomm, part of the first Game Changer season powered by Star Wars Force for Change. First is a global robotics community preparing young people for the future through a K-12 continuum of STEM programs, First Lego League, First Tech Challenge, and First Robotics Competition. First Tech Challenge started in 2005 and has grown to more than 6,000 teams in more than 25 countries. This year in Oregon, nearly 100 teams were able to participate at some level in six leagues. Today is the culmination with three league qualifying tournaments. It's been a blast to see how teams have been working hard to design and build their robots for this season's challenge, ultimate goal. I'm excited to see what our judges have to say about your work and hand out some awards later. This has been a challenging season, and I wanna take a moment to recognize and to thank all the parents, coaches, mentors, and volunteers who brought these teams together and helped make this event possible. We couldn't do it without your efforts, especially this year. Thank you. For graduating seniors, the 2020-21 season is the last one that you can compete in, but remember that first doesn't end with high school. If college is your next step, FIRST partners with 200 colleges and universities who want FIRST participants and alumni and have made nearly $80 million available in exclusive scholarships. Regardless of your career goals, FIRST works with industry to help you explore career paths and opportunities and make sure that you have access to the most valuable resource of all, each other. Learn more about scholarships, internships, and alumni opportunities at firstinspires.org slash alumni. Here's a quick video to show you more about our scholarship and alumni program. It allows me to volunteer and give back to the community. I think FIRST can really prepare you to solve any number of the world's big problems. The skills that you're going to be learning can completely change the future. FIRST alumni further the mission of FIRST and inspire the next generation. Here in Oregon, alumni serve as key volunteers and help lead the organization as board members. We're looking forward to seeing what you do next and having you participate in our local alumni events. Check out ortop.org slash alumni to connect with our local group. And speaking of alumni, I'd like to introduce our master of ceremonies for this tournament, Nikki Stout. Nikki joined our top this season as, and is an alumni of first <clears throat> And speaking of alumni, I'd like to introduce today's master of ceremonies, Nikki Stout. Nikki joined our top this season and is an alumni of first robotics competition team number 2016, the Mighty Monkey Wrenches from Ewing, New Jersey. She streams on Twitch as Camila Panda and has been an MC with first for more than six years. So this isn't her first rodeo. Take it away, Nikki. Thanks, David. Good morning and welcome. We are so excited to have you all tuning into today's event. Before we get started, let's hear from a few of our competition sponsors. 
Hello, first teams. My name is Alexandra, and I am an electrical power engineer for Intel. Ten years ago, I was able to help start my high school's very first robotics program. We spent countless hours in the engineering room tinkering and playing and coding the robot and avoiding the engineering notebook at all costs. Fast forward a few years and I joined Intel and was able to become an FLL MC. After moving to the judging room, I had the awesome experience of being able to see you creators and engineers and gracious professionals do what you do best and create incredible things. I hope that you are as proud of yourself as I am of you, and I hope that you know that you are the exact type of talent that Intel and other companies are looking to hire and the type of people that I want to work with. I hope you have a great competition. Good luck. My name is Erin Curl. I work at Intel. I am a technical program manager for the InterSource project we're working on. I work over in the Intel Architecture, Graphics, and Software group. And I just want to say congrats to all the first Oregon teams. And we're really celebrating that you're even competing at all this season. I just hope everyone is really proud of their accomplishments. Hello, robotics teams. We know this year is like no other. But at First Tech Federal Credit Union, we remain committed to funding the future by supporting programs that develop the creators, engineers, and innovators of tomorrow, people like you. That's why we're delighted to return once again as a sponsor of this year's competition. On behalf of all the employees at First Tech, we wish you the very best. Play hard, have fun, and good luck to you. Each year, First Tech Challenge creates new and exciting game for teams to learn and compete in. In this year's season, First Game Changers, powered by Star Wars Force for Change, teams around the world are exploring the evolution of our sports and activities that make us physically and mentally strong. This year, teams are working to redefine the game and revolutionize the way we play and move. In the 2021 game, Ultimate Goal, presented by Qualcomm, First Tech Challenge participants will become teammates at the top of their game, competing in a thrilling sport to score, to win, and to leave a legacy that lasts. They'll learn how to work together to recover from failure, build confidence, and champion each other to exceed team and personal potentials. Let's take a look at this year's season challenge. For centuries, sports have played an integral part of our culture. Moving, collaborating, competing, celebrating. We rally around our athletes, lift them up and admire their awe-inspiring moments and stories that give us hope. History has shown societies evolving through time, and so too have sports and the way we play and move together. And now the nature of traditional sports is shifting and we have the power to be forces for change and redefine the game. Our sports are no longer rooted solely in physical prowess. We must use our minds, our creativity, imagination and critical thinking as much as we use our muscles. No matter whether our talents lie on the court, in the lab or with a controller in hand, there's an athlete inside each and every one of us. It's time for us to revolutionize the way we play and move. It's time to be Game Changers. In Ultimate Goal presented by Qualcomm, you and your team will experience the passion that drives us forward as athletes. With the clock counting down, we revel in the big plays and vital scores and the lessons we learn when we fail and work with our teammates to recover. Each time our team steps up to a new challenge, we establish bolder goals, fueling our ambitions to work together, enhance our skills, and transcend all boundaries. No matter the outcome, we'll stand up in the face of competition, pushing each other to do better, work harder, and exceed our team and personal potentials. Because together, you are teammates at the top of your game, to score, to win, and to leave a legacy that lasts. It's time to play Ultimate Goal.
Welcome to the first Tech Challenge 2020-2021 Season Game, Ultimate Goal, presented by Qualcomm. Part of the first Game Changer season, powered by Star Wars Force for Change. A team consists of up to two driver operators, a coach, a human player, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in the game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing tool, but may expand after the match begins. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Each alliance is allowed only one human player. Your opponents for one match may be your partners for another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. Five unique navigation images are located around the field perimeter. At one end are two tower goals, each containing three Alliance-specific goals with return racks. Between the two tower goals are three red and three blue power shot targets. There are two red and two blue taped start lines, and three red and three blue target zone goals. Red and blue tape squares indicate starter stack locations, and a white launch line divides the field. Outside of the field walls are the two alliance stations and two human player stations. The primary game element is a ring, approximately five inches in diameter and three quarters of an inch thick. A match is played with 20 rings. There are two red and two blue wobble goals. These can have rings scored onto them and can be moved for additional scoring. Before each match, teams place their robots on the field, touching the front wall and over one of their alliance's starting lines. Each robot must be touching or be in possession of a wobble goal. A robot may possess or touch up to three rings. After the robots are in position, field personnel will randomize the starter stacks into one of three configurations. This determines which target zone goal is active in the autonomous period. Zero, one, or four rings correspond to target zone goals a, B, or C, respectively. Unused rings are stored in the human player stations to be deployed to the field at the start of the driver controlled period. The players and field are ready. Each match begins with a 30 second autonomous period. During this period, there are a number of ways for teams to score using only pre-programmed instructions and sensor inputs. Delivering a wobble goal to the correct target zone earns the Alliance 15 points. A robot parked over the launch line earns 5 points. Each ring launched or placed into the low goal earns 3 points. A ring launched into the mid goal earns 6 points, and launching into the high goal earns 12 points. Robots earn 15 points for each power shot target knocked down. Robots must be completely within the launch zone to launch rings into the mid goal, high goal, or power shot targets. Following the autonomous period is the two minute driver controlled period. During the driver controlled period, human players are expected to return rings to the playing field, as well as reset power shot targets. Each ring launched or placed into the low goal earns two points. A ring launched into the mid goal earns four points. However, rings launched into the opposing alliance's goal earn points for their alliance. A ring launched into the high goal earns six points. The last 30 seconds of the driver controlled period is the end game. During this time, robots may continue scoring rings, but there are also ways to earn bonus points. Each knocked down power shot target earns 15 points. Returning a wobble goal to the start line earns 5 points. Each ring fully supported by the wobble goal earns 5 points. 
If a robot lifts a wobble goal over the front wall into the drop zone, its alliance earns 20 points. There are many ways to score an ultimate goal, but there are also rules that if not followed will deduct points from your alliance. For example, a robot may not block another for an extended period. A robot may not possess more than three rings at a time. A robot may not launch rings over the side or front perimeter walls. A robot may not intentionally tip another robot at any time. This has been a brief summary of the Ultimate Goal game. For complete rules, please read the entire game manual and check the Q&A forum. For more information on our remote season, including gameplay and field requirements, Please make sure to visit our game and season webpage for the full library of remote event documentation. And always remember the most important rule of First Tech Challenge, gracious professionalism. Good luck teams and have a great season. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a very important group of people, our judges. These individuals have the difficult job of singling out the best of the best from today's teams. We look forward to seeing the outcome of their hard work at the award ceremony on Monday. Let's thank them in the chat. We'd also like to thank our mentors and coaches who are critical to your learning experience and your team's success. Many of you are also mentoring teams from one of our other FIRST programs, FIRST LEGO League and FIRST Robotics Competition. And you may even be FIRST alumni yourselves. On behalf of all of FIRST, a big thank you to all the mentors and coaches. You really are champions of the game. A few minutes ago, David spoke about gracious professionalism. And who better to help further explain this core value of FIRST than our very own Dean's List Award winners. To me, Gracious Professionalism is about helping everyone to perform their best. One of my favorite memories is the time I zip-tied my opponent's robot back together in one of the last qualifier matches of our league championship. Gracious Professionalism is knowing that even though we compete with or against other teams, we will always be friends and cheer each other on. To me, Gracious Professionalism is where everybody who's at the table can be valued for their own individual set of skills. To me, Gracious Professionalism means being positive and respectful to everyone, no matter the situation. Gracious Professionalism is working in collaboration with your fellow competitors, ensuring that no matter who ends up getting first place, everyone walks away feeling supported and having learned something. Gracious Professionalism to me means working with a diverse group of individuals from different backgrounds and cultures to innovate and create a big, caring society. Gracious professionalism is about more than gaining technical skills and competing. It's about being a good team member, a good volunteer, and a good person. Gracious professionalism means being true to myself and others by respecting and supporting everyone, no matter what side of the field they are on, in competition and in life. Gracious professionalism is the foundation from which a massive tech community like FIRST is built upon. All of the creativity and teamwork and inspiration for kids to build the future starts with all of us nurturing an environment of respect and acceptance. A huge thanks to our Dean's List students. Today, teams will be judged and they must have their scores in by 5 p.m. You can watch our award ceremony for this event on Monday. Before we begin the competition, please rise for our national anthem.
teams, are you ready for ultimate goal? Good luck to all of the competitors. <laughs>